it does yeah. kind of raise the thoughts there briefly where I was thinking where you were talking of like the, the uniforms falling apart, the shoes falling apart. It's almost like surprising that we're not seeing more naked soldiers um, at the end of these marches, at the end of these weather conditions. How, this is something I don't even have an idea about. How often did these soldiers receive new uniforms? Well, it depends on the army. I mean, they're often in tatters and in shred clothing. So uh, there is that. Um, the Federal Army is being replenished fairly frequently. Uh, Sherman's guys go through Carolina and, and, you know, they're a mess when they finally get into North Carolina, but they eventually get replenished. They get, they get new things and shoes. Uh, there are even cases of, uh, you know, we always hear about Grant and his private uniform. Grant actually had special lightweight wool uniforms made for his, for his staff and for himself so that he could deal with the Overland campaign in Virginia weather a little better. I think it's an interesting little, little story. But yeah, the Federal Army is generally being reprovisioned periodically, not often enough in some cases. Mm. The Confederates, I mean, they are they are in a better place for uniforms maybe at the end of the war than they are at the beginning because you've got all the depots. Mm -hmm. They have to have sprung from places like Augusta or Atlanta. So they're getting supplied fairly regularly. But I was struck. Actually, when I read the previous book, when I wrote Reluctant Rebels, I was struck by how often Confederate soldiers were riding home throughout the war asking for clothing. Mm -hmm. Send me my black suit, send me my boots, send me this. Can you have something made for me? I think Confederate supply, you know, we always hear that at the end of the war, the Confederacy had all the powder it needed, but not enough food. And I guess supply is supposed to be in the middle somewhere. I'm not sure it was as great as it's cracked up to be because these guys are constantly writing home trying to, trying to get pants, mm -hmm. trying to get jackets, trying to get clothing. Um, and that's, in many ways, it's the Confederate civilian population mm -hmm. that is periodically resupplying the Confederate army. Yeah. So, I mean, they look, you know, no two look alike. That's, that's one reason why. Mm 